etiquette is designed by its very nature etiquette is designed to weed out and draw attention to people who are not of the in group so somebody who does not know how to eat fruit with a knife and fork um, is obviously of a lower class and should be ignored etiquette is very specifically designed to do that it's very silly rules about very small things that are designed to weed out undesirables manners are a different thing now here's where the and there is a blurred space between them knowing how to eat in british form of dining which a lot of people are taught to do from children not everybody does i was most people I know eat like that, you know, fork tines down on all the rest of it, um, napkin in lap, soup spoon, whatever. But knowing it is a little bit like armour. It's like wearing the right clothes if you turn up to a party. If you are already feeling ill at ease and unconfident, and you turn up to a party and they're all in very smart long dresses and you're wearing jeans and a T-shirt. It takes quite a bit of confidence to walk in there and just own it. And not all of us have that. So knowing how to use your knife and fork, knowing how to deal with a napkin, it is useful. Like you said, it can become ableist and it can become exclusionary. But I do think it's worth knowing it because when you need it, it gives you a layer of confidence and that confidence is the thing. It's not whether you use your knife and fork that way. It's the confidence and the confidence of using your knife and fork the right way is also the confidence that leads you to go. Hello, my name's Anne. I'm pleased to meet you. How did you get here today? Little things like that really can carry you through like I said it's a little bit of personal armour so I'm always on the fence with that but I but that is the distinction I make between etiquette and manners and I do think people benefit from learning good manners